Hello, in this video we're going to go over how to determine the origin of a particular order or modified order in Sierra chart using the trade activity log. So let's start off by going up to trade and trade activity log to open the trade activity log. I'm going to drag it over from the other window here. Now the first thing you need to do is go over to edit and make sure that disable trade activity log is not enabled. So if there's a check mark here you need to click here to remove that check mark. Now that the trade activity log is active, we can go to the trade activity tab. And then under these various drop down menus, you're going to have to configure them accordingly. The most important one is that the second box here for the order IDs should be set to all internal order IDs. For now, I'm going to show all activity. Then you have to choose a particular symbol or all symbols. In this case, I will select all simulated symbols because I've done some trading here in the simulated trading account. So the account is selected right here. Make sure you select the right account. And then under the notes drop down, make sure you're filtering by all notes so that you're not hiding any order entries. And the last thing you need to configure is the date range to display. I'll just set the date in this case to be today. And also I've checked the box for today. Okay, so once you're ready and you've configured that, you select apply. And normally you'll see a query count here of greater than zero. Now you need to wait for the query count to go back to zero and that will ensure that your request has gone through and now the data that you requested is ready to be viewed. If you see a higher number like two or three or four, it means that there's multiple queries going on in the background that you've requested and you should wait for this to go to zero before doing anything else. The most important column to determine the origin of a particular order is the order action source column. So find that column here and then you can look at the text in this column to determine the origin of particular orders and the various activities that are taking place in this trade account. So here I'm showing all activity. So if I scroll to the top here, you can see the first thing we have is a user order entry that has taken place. And it's taken place here on the trade DOM. And we also have two attached orders that took place at this time. So the first piece of data we see here is the symbol that was on the chart. In this case, it's ESU23, but the symbol we were trading was MESU23. Next, we have the bar period that was set on the chart when this order was submitted. In this case, it was a one minute chart. Next, you have the chart number. If you work with a chart book with many different charts, this is gonna be the way to determine which chart sent that order. Following that, it tells us that this was a trade DOM and it was a user order entry. Then when you have AO is equal to one, what this means is that the attached orders feature in Sierra chart, it's called use attached orders was enabled. So this order was submitted using attached orders in Sierra chart. The date time field in the trade activity log, this refers to when the order was added to the log. So that's not going to represent the time of your order fill in market time. In order to get that data, you need to look at the transaction date time column. The time shown here should represent the actual time of the order fill. And if this is delayed data that you're working with, then it will be a time in the past from now. So just remember that the date time field and the transaction date time are two different things. Okay, so this is just showing us that we submitted an order and then we have canceled that same order. And we also have some internal cancel messages here for the canceling of the child orders, the attached orders. Now here's an example of an order that was submitted using an auto trading custom study in Sierra chart. You can see here it says auto trade. And then we have what it's doing. In this case, it was a buy entry um, for the primary order as well as the two attached orders. And if we scroll to the right and look at the data, we can also see that those two were attached orders and that they were client side OCO in this case, in the case of this simulated trading service. If you need to see the specific order IDs for those, you can scroll to the right um, to get the internal order ID. So let's filter this out by fills or orders, just to give you an idea of uh, filtering it out. So now I'll select apply here. 
So now we only have a few entries here um, in this list. So we can see we have a few different fills that took place. Opening order, closing order. So we have three total trades here, an open and a close for each of them. All right, let's filter by orders now. You can see here for orders, there's more entries that take place. The order action source information will also tell you if the order originated from another instance of Sierra chart. And if that was the case, you should see something here that says order from DTC client with the number of the client and the IP address. It'll show the local host IP address if it was on your local system. But in this case, all of these order entries were from this primary instance of Sierra chart. Okay, and another way that you can see the information about a particular trade activity entry is by selecting it here, again, under the same tab. I'm just selecting one of the entries and I'm going up to edit. Now, edit trade activity entry. Here you can see all of the information associated with a trade activity entry. In this case, it was a simulated order and it was an order fill. Okay, thank you for watching.